engine here wouldn't start. The guy I bought it from thought it was the valve lash, but the valve lash looks fine. I figured out that it's a timing issue. The timing mark with the E and the little mark right here are pointed straight up. That's top dead center for cylinder one and cylinder four. But cylinder four is the one that's on top dead center of the compression stroke. Cylinder one is top dead center of the exhaust stroke. If you look at the valves on cylinder one, the exhaust valves are not uh, closed all the way. They're still cracked open. And the intake valves are just getting ready to open. So if I turn it a little bit, now you can see, if you see that moving, the, the exhaust valves are closing. Now they're closed. The intake valves are open. And the intake valves are open. And there we go. At this point, number one cylinder is at the bottom. Number one and four are both at the bottom. So now, if I keep turning it, the intake valve is closing and the exhaust valve is still closed to slack there and the slack there they're both closed I keep turning it until it pops into position there we go now we're at top dead center on cylinder number one again only this time it's on the compression stroke that's loose that's loose that's loose that's loose all the valves are shut you can see that when cylinder number one is ready to fire the timing mark E and the little groove right there are pointed straight down but if we go over here and look at my rotor rotor is pointing to cylinder four Cylinder 4 is getting the spark, but it's on the top of the exhaust stroke. This thing needs to be reversed and pointed up, but it doesn't. It has a three-way slot there, so I can't just turn it. I have to, I have to remove the whole unit and realign the gears.